guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alice and this is This Alice. First of all, I just want to say I'm sorry about that I haven't posted in a while. I mean, the last video was like three weeks ago. That's because I had something planned for a video, but there's been a slight delay of what I was going to do. So today I'm going to be doing a different video and hopefully the other one will come in the future. So today I'm going to be painting these cups. So this one's water and if you've seen some of my videos, I go and fill up this one with water to do the hedgehog house, which is back there and add uh, this one's food so i've cleaned them all out and we're gonna be transforming these today so that's what i'm gonna do now okay so to start off with i'm going to do this one because this is gonna take longer because it's got labels and stuff which i need to try and get off so i'm gonna do the water one so i'm gonna start off with nail polish remover and some cotton pads so this is really helpful because it's got a bit of um, ethanol in, I think, yeah, which is alcohol. So that's going to um, make sure it's really strong and it will get off the label. So I'm going to put this on now. I'm going to pour this onto here. And then... I'm going to start scrubbing. As you can see, it is definitely needing to come off. So once it gets a bit loose, I'll be able to peel it off. I mean, look at that. And this is why I'm doing a makeover. Also, it's a really nice sunny day, as you can see. Hmm? So that's what I'm going to do. So starting off the water one, I'm going to try to get this label off and then I'll talk to you guys about my plans and how I'm going to redecorate them. So I'll come back to you once this is all off. And just like that, it's fully clean. So I took the label off with nail polish and this and it didn't take long to be honest and it's fully clean. So now we're going to be moving on to the fun part, which is the paint. So, I've done with this, so I'm going to put these out of the way. And it's time to do some painting. So, first of all, I'm going to start off with this Gesso um, Arctic Acrylic Medium. So, it's um, like a base coat for it, so it's a shake, so I'm going to shake it. I got this off, it's either off Amazon or actually in the store. So, I'm that. Sorry guys, I'm trying to keep it down, it's all good. So, this, so I'm going to start off with the base. So, I'm going to literally pour a bit in. Got like a little palette, so I'm gonna do that now. There it is. Not too much, I can always add more. And I'm gonna get my paintbrush and start painting. So I'm gonna do now, so this should be better to try and paint this. So I'm gonna get a little bit of it and just coat it all around so like this so I'm gonna need a couple coats because obviously it's a big a large area to cover but I can show you guys it's gonna look much better I thought I cleaned out the hedgehog house Um, why not go ahead and clean out the tools so um, I didn't want to, there's some bowls, obviously our bowls are actually already painted because we bought them like that and I just picked up a jar and things to try and make this easier 
to get the scoops out and get the right amount for the hedgehogs. Um, um, that we have a bowl which is for food. That's mint green, like a pastel mint green, and we have um, a scooper which is um, pastel purple. So I had an idea that this I could make pastel pastel yellow or pastel blue probably pastel blue so i'll just need to get i've got my colors there as you can see and so i'll just need to do that and then for the food one i was thinking maybe a pastel pink but we'll see anyway as you can see half of it's done but we're gonna need it to dry but it is rather sunny so it should dry quickly like when i put this paint on it's already drying and I'm going to do the bottom last. It's drying really quick. As you can see though, it's a bit... It looks worse than ever to be fair. It's a bit streaky, so we will have to do two coats of that. So, I'll be back with you once I've finished the whole thing and then when we're going to do the second coat. Hey guys, as you will have seen, I've just done a full first coat. As you can see, it's going to be needing a second coat. It's drying rather quick. There's still some, like, rather wet bits but that's kind of dry and um, i did a bit of the bottom but it really needs to chew it up so i'm gonna let that dry for a couple minutes and i'm gonna quickly look at my phone for some ideas and if it will work what i want to do <laughs> So daisies with a pastel blue background. I think that looks really nice. And I think I'm creating that on the jar over there. Wow. There's like a delivery person here. So that's the first one. And then the hedgehog one, I was thinking of just looking at doing one hedgehog on this. Like maybe one there. And then like little dots as if it's like button. And that will be a pastel yellow or pastel pink. And if you have any other ideas of what I can do, follow my Instagram, how to life for more. I've on 59 followers, so if we can try to get to a hundred a hundred by the end of the year that'd be really good subscribe to my channel and follow my tiktok which i'll get onto now hedgehog life a yesterday i did a, a routine a daily routine so i've been doing like everyday things and then there's like this one I really like that one. But there's loads of other. I'm on TikTok and I'm on Instagram. So you can follow me on both of them and subscribe to this channel. So it's dried now. But I'm going to be doing the second coat. So I'm going to be using the last of the paint and then I'm going to. Put some now. I'm going to get refill the paint palette. 
quickly do that now and then I'll get back to you once we're ready to do the second coat. So I've just seen, I was trying to get the close up, but because of the, um, um, I had to try, I was looking at the screen, it kind of um, went not in the right <laughs> um, whole thing, just like went a bit everywhere. So, doing a second coat now. I also apologise for the noise in the background, but it's my parents having a good chat. So I'm doing the second coat now. So this is a good base, and this is just going to cover up all of the clearness. I mean, if you wanted to clear, guys, I'm really sorry. But I have a good idea. And also, it's just going to kind of smooth out the surface. I will link um, some of the products I used today in this video if you guys want to know most of it was from either amazon or if you're british um from wilco's or from uh, the workshop so i there's like a garden center near us which is where i get well there's a guard there's two garden centers near us one of them's more not really a garden centre, it's more like a pet food shop. And then the other one's actually a garden centre where I get the um, plants from and stuff. And they sell paint and stuff in one of their sections. And then the other one's pet food, which is where I get the hedgehog spikes food from. It's like really sudden got windy and clearly people are really chatty today. Yeah. It's a lot more base coated and we've just got to get some of the go all the way around near the top and stuff and then we'll be ready to go onto the other coat but this stuff doesn't actually take long to dry which is also a real good reason I like it the problem is obviously it's got to have a little time to dry so you can only do one side and then wait which is what I'm doing and then I need to paint the top really so, it's looking like that. That bit there needs to, you know, as you can see, there's this gap. But it's getting better and on the top. On, like, in real life, it's actually not that bad. It's nearly all done. It's got to wait for the last bits to dry. This is just the basic, so like I can always go when I go with the next colour. So I'm gonna leave it at that actually guys. There's a bit there, but I'll cover that up really quick. Just for those of you that I'm triggering, I'm covering it up now, guys. Boom, it's gone. Practically done. Good enough for me. I'm gonna go ahead and mix some colours, and we're gonna be doing pastel blue. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I've done it so it's like around a little tutu. But it's all the way around the line. So that I can only go up to that. I've gone a bit further there, but we'll um, sort that out at the end. So I'm going to grab my brush. This one. 
and quickly spread the next load of paint on. a nice painted hand this time. Good enough for the moment. So I'm gonna take this masking tape off. So it's on the bottom. And now it may not be satisfying just because um I kinda messed up on that. Um more than that last time. And I put a bit of blue already on there. But if we try to find the ends, start with it. It's here because that's where it was left up. Right. Also, this ghetto hits better because then it, you can cover up things as well as have it as a base. Can you like a correction kind of thing? Finally, gone inside. Also, why is the lighting so? There we are. It's a warm day after this video. I'm telling you I'm having a nice, I'm having a nice day. DM me on Instagram or comment on my newest post on my TikTok or Instagram what your favourite item is. I love magnums and honestly nothing can be a lovely bobby because it's so good. But my
one bar, which means not that much because I can't. I used a proper camera kind of thing to video the. Gaps as well with guests or paint. Honestly, guess is the best and can't many times I've said guess so. Um, I will be doing another video soon, which will be for this one should be for Wildlife Wednesday, if I can get it edited and uploaded in time. And then the next one will be Sunday Baking and Freestyle Friday, which I'll be posting on them days, hopefully. I am a bit behind schedule because of all this online schoolwork and, and delays, because I was really hoping to do this. Video. I won't spoil it in case it does happen. If it doesn't, don't want to say it because it'd be a bit annoying. But yeah. Didn't got you can, of course, if you want to redecorate your things and anything you can buy all these things online see it's kind of onto a dark blue i kind of want to light blue but it really doesn't matter because you've got light for the bottom which is the white i'm not going to paint this if i do it will just be white And then um, the hedgehog house is there. You can kind of see. I'm gonna be adding in some bedding tonight because it's actually quite. Um, it's lost a lot of bedding, so I'm gonna do that. So that's pretty much done. So I'm gonna take. Masking tape off. Focus. No. So you gap there. So I'm gonna have to go over and relay the masking tape. As you can see, getting there. So it's there I need to go. So I'm gonna do that for you home now. Which no, no, not go too good, but it should do actually. Should do, but it won't. I've decided with this one, there'll be Tilly's but like a scene on one side.
any better. I'm gonna relay some masking tape. Some more now. Okay. This way. Because then this will literally be the final and it's going to be like blue, dark blue going into light blue going into pastel blue. Done. All right. I'm gonna do the white. Then we do the black. This is a lot better than. Look way better. finish that and I'll be back with you after that okay, guys so this has dried now pretty much nearly and that looks really good I think so we're gonna peel this off it's a bit wonky but it's looking a bit wonky there Looking better. It looks a lot better though than before. So now I'm going to put this 
using the Posca pens to make it look real nice. Hi guys, so my other camera died, so you are on a different camera now, but that's not a problem because we are now on to drawing on this of our designs. So, I'm using Foster pens. They're very good, they're like artsy kind of pens. And I am going to be trying to do a cool set. So first of all, I'm gonna touch up with a white Posca pen on these clouds. Okay, let's just move this bug. So good. I'm going to touch up on these white clouds, so that's what I'm going to do now. Just messed up. Do you think I know my idea now? Because I didn't know what to do. Little kind of flowers, lemons, or cherries. But I want to do cherries. I think cherries look cool. But I'm going to do some cherries. So using my red Posca pen, I'm going to draw on two circles and I'm going to press down so it gets down a lot the ink. like so and I'm going to put a few of them I'm going to make it into a fruity kind of scene see here so I'm going to also have lemons oh gosh it's so annoying with all this wind going on right now There's a bit there that failed, but I can turn it into something. There's going to be a cherry there, a lemon, and a pineapple. I'm going to do bananas, watermelons, all of that. So we'll do that, and this will be transformed in three, two, one. I'm back, guys, and this is the finished look. So I went for like a fruit and then a flower theme. So. I'll show you. So this is the first bit. So cherry, 
like a cool rainbow cloud or watermelon. Ice cream, raspberry, lemon, strawberry, cloud, pear, cloud, banana, sweet, pineapple, lollipop, flower, kiwi, and berries. And that's that. So I think that's quite cool. And that's going to be my wardrobe, but before I do a cool montage, a cool montage of that, I've got to finish off with my finishing spray. And there is one thing I do need to get still. Oops, sorry, I got my finger. There is one thing I still need to get still, um, and that's like a seal. I don't have that, so I'm just going to use finger. Kind of gives a nice shine as well. Look at that orange paint. That's looking fabulous. Yeah, I probably put loads in. I have. So we're gonna let that sit now, and that looks great. So we're gonna let that sit, and hopefully. You will enjoy the montage, and I got a bit of yellow there. That's not gonna come out, but it was for you guys. So thank you for watching part one of the makeover, and I'll see you in part two. Bye.